everything great about This is the first Godzilla movie ever made. Without this existing, there's no way anyone could be a Godzilla fan. I don't know why, but that is so satisfying. I really enjoy this point of view because it really makes you question what would you do if you ever saw Godzilla in real life? Godzilla. Yes, everyone, Godzilla. Now that is what I call terrifying. Just look at Godzilla's face. That is a menace. That is a perfect core element for a movie like this. Oh, the truth must be made public. I really like the fact that they are seriously debating about whether or not they should make Godzilla go public or not. What would you do? Look at these facial expressions when it comes to Godzilla. That is genuine fear. One of the coolest things about Godzilla is that this is all really done by a guy in a suit. I mean, come on, this is the original Atomic Breath. Now you have to admit, for something that's coming out in 1954, this is some really good quality work. Godzilla is so evil, but also savage at the same time? Count me in. <laughs> Fans of Godzilla have no idea how dark this movie really is. It makes you really feel for these people. Damn right this is sad. I don't want that to be my mom. Then together we'll go down. It's all right. I myself can achieve it. Dr. Sarazawa definitely is the highlight of this movie because he is the only man on earth that sacrifices himself to Godzilla. Yup, that's how you know you lost a good character once you start taking off the hat. Even when you know that Godzilla's dying, you still feel bad for him. And what a lot of people don't realize is that Dr. Sarazawa's sacrifice is a big impact on this entire franchise. I really like the tone of this movie. It can be dark, but yet gives you more hope in life. <laughs> 